Bang, Neves Knives. I'm Jared, my lovely wife Kara is at work. Let's go find the cheapest sharpening stone we can absolutely find and see how it works. All right guys, I went to Menards and got two sharpening stones. One to try stone has a diamond, um, an aluminum oxide, and another stone. I'll get to that in a minute. Then I got another one that's only $3.99 sharpening stone the other one was $35 so we're going to test what a four dollar sharpening stone is like I already know this one's probably going to be pretty good this will be in another video well, I'll do that one next let's get to this one so the little stone is supposed to be like a pocket stone you know some type of little pocket sharpener and then the other one's obviously a, a bench stone looks like it's about six inches now I'll go over all this stuff. So I'm going to use this little stone, not as a little pocket stone, but I'm going to use this to actually dress other stones, or at least I'm going to try because like my Veneve stones need dressing stones. And this feels like it'll work perfect. This is very, very coarse. I mean, this is ridiculously coarse. This one right here is supposed to be a 120 grit and a 220 grit. Um, I can't tell which side's which. I'm guessing this one's the more aggressive because it, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'll figure it out though. Let's get to sharpening. All right, so I've got my base here. We're gonna start with the top one. I'm guessing that is the, the coarser grit. Now, it says to add lubrication, but it doesn't specify if I'm supposed to use water or oil i'm guessing i mean it just says lubrication so it's probably just water but i got some soap and water this is just some dawn dish soap pour a little dawn dish soap mix it up with some water that uh, that makes a good lubrication for stones that are oil stones now this doesn't say it's an oil stone it just says lubricate it now this obviously is a very cheap stone you know it's a what is it tool shop everybody knows tool shop stuff is you know cheap tools cheap tools for uh you know people that just need a tool for the moment this is really soaking up they call this a thirsty stone you can see how thirsty it is it's just soaking that water up i almost feel like i should have dunked it first but we're gonna go at it all right Let's check this guy out. Let's try to get rid of some of these shadows. I'll go from this direction. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Feels like a good stone, but I don't think this is gonna really help me too much. This already has rubber on it. Now, in another video, I'll, um, I'm gonna do, I got some really good sharpening videos coming up. That is, uh, I'm going to teach how to hold your angle, how to find your angle, and all that stuff. This video is just about this stone really quick. So if you have any questions about finding your angle, holding your angle, or anything like that, I have a lot of sharpening videos in my playlist. I do have a sharpening playlist, but I do have some really cool sharpening videos coming up that might help you. Wow, oh, it's actually not doing too bad. Now, I know a lot of these cheap stones, the thing is, is they work really good for the first couple sharpenings, but then they kind of clog up, they get real crappy, they lose, uh, you know, like their bite and stuff like that. So the thing is, is that if you have a flattening stone or a conditioning stone or uh, a diamond uh, plate that you can use. You can recondition these. Yeah, this thing is really soaking up water. You can uh, refinish these things, and then also a degreaser sometimes helps if you're uh, using oil. But Yeah, it's really, uh, it's getting it. Let's look at the edge really quick. Let's look at the grip pattern. 
Now this thing wasn't a very sharp. I had tested it on some other stuff. So and this thing I've used a lot for sharpening. And I've also beat the heck out of it. This thing was a work knife for a long time. You can see I'm back on the choil and everything. It took an, I've used this knife for a long time. So, but the grit is looking good. It looks like right back here, the grit isn't perfect. But we'll fix that. Man, this thing is super thirsty. I almost feel like it would have been better like at a sink. So right here, I'm gonna... There we go. Okay, we got a burr all the way up and down. I can tell I'm kind of rocking my angle, but no big deal. Sorry, it got blurry. And you know what? I'm taking the cap off of this thing. We're just gonna soak it. Wow, that was weird. Why am I not? Man, it feels very weird right now. I don't know why I feel so weird holding this angle right now. Hmm. Okay, so what's happening is right back here, see how thick it is right there? So what's happening is this is like a ledge right now where I'm hitting here and here, but I'm not hitting here because it's basically like acting like a bridge because one spot's thicker. So it makes it to where I'm sitting high here and then over here. So I'm going to have to sharpen it until that comes out. I don't know if I'm really that worried about it, but man, it feels very weird right now. Back you guys out just a little bit. If you're not getting the results you want, slow down. That's always a good thing. You will go faster by slowing down. Um, I don't have a bird yet. And so far, it's a very coarse stone. Now, if I didn't have anything to sharpen with, this would work. I can tell it would work. Now, this is only 440C. Um, I would imagine it would be just fine for uh, better for other steels. It would just take a little bit longer. But I can already feel, like right here, it's really coarse, and right here, it's smoother. So I can already tell it's smoothing out, which all stones do. It's just how fast and how long do they last before you got to recondition them and flatten them and stuff like that. I'm kind of rushing on this because it's a video, but normally I would not be going this fast. Let's take a look at my edge. You can see I changed angles a couple times. I'm not 
hitting the same angle every time, but it's looking pretty good though. Not bad. And this is the first time using this stone, so the best time is probably going to be this time. And I don't know what I'll do with the stone after. I'll probably save it for, uh, for other stones. These stones are really good for working on other stones, flattening stones, and, you know, um, removing steel on certain things. I, you know, I don't know if I'll ever sharpen on it again. I might, though. Because it's really not too bad. But I'll tell you one thing. Uh, it felt like a, a 120 off the bat. Now it's feeling more like a 300. And it, it definitely lost a lot of that grit. But... I'll tell you what though, man, this just proves though, you can damn sure find or get a stone and sharpen. I don't care if you, if you're, you know, if you don't have the money for diamond stones and all that stuff, that's okay. There are lots of cheap stones out there. Okay, I'm going to hit it a couple more times and then we are going to switch sides. Checking for burrs. I got a burr a little bit. I need to go just a tiny bit longer. Alright, there we go. Let's flip it. And go to the 220. So the other side was the 120. This is the 220. At least that's the way it felt by hand. So far, this stone... Um, I mean, it works. It's working okay. I know I still have a bunch of work to do on it, but, you know, the the grit is kind of inconsistent. So, I'm guessing, you know, obviously it's a $4 stone, but it does work, or it is working, I should say. But I'm guessing the, the grit is going to be pretty inconsistent, um, meaning like that um, it's going to be a sharp edge, but it's not going to be something i could make like a, a real fine 220 grit because in a lot with a lot of stones even diamond stones i can put a 220 grit and have a fantastic edge this i think is going to be a little uh you know inconsistent where you have um where it's going to be really coarse and not uh not capable of being really like a finer edge without another stone so that, that's what I'm guessing, just from the way it really feels on the stone, the way it sharpens. It is very, you know, it's pretty aggressive, but it also doesn't feel quite like a 220 grit sometimes either. Like I said, it feels very inconsistent. So, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. This is feeling really coarse compared to that other side, though, because the other side started getting smoother after using it. Not bad. I do have a burr already, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go a little bit more on the other side. Normally, I don't like to make a big burr. Now, if you aren't good at identifying a burr, then yeah, you're probably gonna want a bigger burr. But me, I want my edge just a little bit flatter, and um, I can identify a burr very easily, even if they're tiny. So, but 
So I try to make my birds really small. And you can too, but if you don't know how to identify a burr yet, don't worry about it. Just make a big burr and then you'll be able to identify it easier. Oh yeah, this is already smooth now. Okay. You know, just like any stone, you got to break them in a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's looking a lot better. All right, let's get this other side. Oh, my camera keeps going blurry. I'm sorry, guys. The way I'm positioned, this isn't easy. Normally, I'm not, you know, standing in this position that I am, but it, the edge is going good. But I feel very uncoordinated sharpening the way I am. This table is very low for me right now. So I'm like bent over and got my legs spread wide. And I'm, I look really crazy right now trying to do this. Also trying to film it. Right there, I was basically just rocking my body, trying to get my edge nice and flat. Let's look at it. It's okay. Sorry about the shadow, guys. I, I got my light kind of. Lights a little messed up today, so uh, it's all right. It looks good. I mean, it's definitely a sharp edge. I mean, I'm totally not done yet, but it doesn't look the best. There's a lot of more, you know, this stuff is from old stuff and sharpening, but the actual edge from here forward doesn't look that bad. I could definitely hold my angle a little better right now. So I'm going to try to keep it held in one spot really quick. Really try to flatten that edge. Try not to do that. <laughs> a lot better let's check it out really quick nice and flat it's got uh, stone dust on it but not bad let's continue Okay, let's do the other side. Now, this obviously is a very coarse stone. So, the 220 to finish on is a pretty doggone coarse stone, but we're going to try it anyways. We're going to do it. Okay, let's rock this burr back and forth. Three passes, one, two, three. Two passes, one, two. Two passes, one, two. 
Uh, let's do one and one passes now. One. I'm going to start using lighter and lighter pressure because this is a very, very coarse stone, kind of. Like I said, it, it's weird. It feels like a coarse stone, and then it also feels like it's less coarse than it says. But then the edge kind of comes, I don't know, it's kind of weird. The grit on this, love, on this stone is... Just weird. It's not um, really what I'm used to. That other stone I can guarantee is going to be a lot better. But this there's this is still a stone though. The point is is you can this is basically a damn brick right now. So basically what I'm trying to show is that you can sharpen on or get a stone, a sharpening stone that'll work. Is this the best stone? No. Is it a good stone? No. Does it work? Yes. Will you get a sharp knife? Yes. If you have a finishing stone, obviously you can get a lot better edge because this is a very, you know, it's a, a lower grit. So it's not what, a nor what most people would finish on. But let's test the edge on this receipt. Let's try it on a piece of paper. Nope. I mean, it cuts, but it's coarse. Let's uh, try giving it a strop and see if that helps. Okay, this is white compound. Oh, I also brought some green, but this is white compound without a finishing stone this will definitely help i mean on a finishing stone a lot of times i really don't even need to strop depending on the stone i guess and a lot of things how patient i was with my edge and yada yada yeah it helped a little bit we're gonna go to the green compound next because i didn't it didn't help a lot, but it did help. A couple more passes. All right, let's try the green one now. Sorry if it keeps getting blurry. This paper's a little damp. Yeah, let's get a new piece of paper. Now the thing is, is on a 200 grit diamond stone or other stones, I can get a far better edge. And I guarantee if I was sitting in my chair or something, ooh, if I was sitting in my chair or something, I could get a better edge. This one, it's it's very coarse. <laughs> it's decent though. It's not bad. I mean, it's not. You know what? Watch this. Put the cap back on the bottle. Let's get a little of the salt on there. Watch this improve it by far.
go. I can feel it. I can feel it. Let me hit the strap one more time now. Since I did that, bam, wham, wham, wham. You can obviously tell I am rushing. I've already been at work all day. Got off and wanted to test out a dog on stone. Might as well record it. Oh yeah. Way better. So after you touch it on a finishing stone, so the edge you get from it is that was my fault. Not it's it's very coarse, but that's not the thing. It's kind of um I don't know. It's not very it's not a very predictable stone like or edge. It's kind of uh I don't know. It's okay. Obviously, it's a sharp edge. I know I put it on that other little ceramic stone and hit it a couple times, but the edge was still okay and I could actually I could have gone from that stone what well, was it was only a few minutes on the stone and i basically did this whole thing in real time so 15 minutes on the stone you know and if you're not setting up a camera and doing all kinds of stupid stuff like i am you could probably spend you know a real 15 minutes on that stone and get a good working edge is it great no is it okay yes it's a it's a, it's a working edge the 220 grit working edge now how long will this stone last i don't know i mean i would imagine quite a while but you're probably going to have to condition it and degrease it and stuff like that unless if you use just raw water but if you use raw water i'm imagining it will really clog up with steel using a degreaser and boiling it and stuff like that will help clean it which i'll probably have to do you know, every 20 or so sharpenings, the way this thing looks. I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, it's okay, though. And, I mean, there's a lot of other little things I could do with this. So, it's $4. $4, guys. Peace.